but you got now don't belong to you. So yes, I, I, oh, I perceive you a prophet. Uh -huh. What you think about this here question? She changed the whole subject. But when she went back to the city, yes. the Bible says she went to the men. Yeah. See, she knew about men. Yeah. Yeah. She, she, she was familiar with six of them right there in the city. You know she knew about men. She went to the men and said, y'all come see a man. Yeah. Yeah. Told me everything I ever did. Right. He got to be the Messiah. Yeah. The woman was happy. Yes, he was. Not because of where she had been. Yeah. Not because of who she was. Right. Or she, if she was. Or obviously had problems with relationships. Yeah. And folk would have looked at her as being loose. They could name all six fellas she done had. Yeah. Oh, right now. She came to the well at the time with the other women. What that she want to fool with them women? Cause they knew what kind of woman she was. But Jesus sent that woman away, and she testified. Yes, sir. Who she came in contact with? Lord, you know. And said, "Y'all need to come see a man." Yes, sir. And the men uh -huh. came. Yes. First, as a result of her testimony. Uh huh. But then, when they heard him for themselves, yes. they believed based on what they heard from Jesus themselves. See, that's why that's really is so important for us to be happy. Amen. And for us to display the blessedness that we're partaking in. Yes, sir. When we're walking around all sad and hung up over what we done been through yes. and over what we going through and all of this just, yes. just you know, just folk gonna look at me. Let, let, let folk look at you funny. They looking anyway. Yes. Same one that looking at you funny ain't no better off than you. Yes. Amen. And hey, if you don't ever learn anything, from the Tillmans, you're going to realize I hope you know by now, them some real folk. Yeah. They'll get up before the whole church and let you know we got some problems. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. There are some times when we don't want to see each other. Amen. Uh -huh. There are some times I can't stand to smell her breath. She can't stand to smell mine. Amen. Yeah. We ain't no picture of perfection. Yeah. But we doing what it takes. Yeah. Yeah. To get it together. Now what would you rather have? Would you rather have somebody who was secretly tipping around because they're trying to get when they get up before you, oh sugar baby baby honey raisin pie doo -doo 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 -doo, and then you see him down here around the corner up under the, you follow what I'm saying? You kick it at you say, and that, that ex sister so and so he would. Um, what would you rather have? Somebody who stands before you and God. That's right. And say, we need some help. Right. We're depending on y'all to pray for us. That's so right. we can get this thing in the cat. And we have it. Right. Yeah, and, and we have it, baby. Yeah, we have it. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Not because of what's happening on the outside. That's right, son. But because of the change that's, right. that's taking place on the inside. Yeah, that's, right. that's what the Lord was dealing with in this sermon. Yeah, Bless folk. I'm not happy because of their outward circumstances. Baby, you can be happy homeless yes. if you blessed. Yes. You can be happy walking yes. if you understand how to be blessed. Yes. And that's the whole meaning of this sermon. It has nothing to do with what I have in my bank account. Right. It has everything to do with my spiritual account. Yes. As long as my account is paid in full with God, I'm good to go because I ain't staying here no way. Matter of fact, I'm looking for my checkout date. I ain't got to go to the front desk. I'm going to leave the key on the nightstand and call that as I'm out. Okay? All right. Amen. I got to go. Got to go. And so that's the privilege that you have. When you understand the essence of these beatitudes. A man is blessed. A man is fortunate. And a man is happy. When it's all about God. Yeah. And Solomon came to that same conclusion yeah. late in life uh -huh. when he said, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Yes, what is it, Solomon? Fear God, God. Yes, and keep his commandments. Yes, For this yes, is the whole duty yes. of man. Y'all hear that? Yes. Solomon had everything a man could possibly dream of. Yeah. Bill Gates ain't got nothing on Solomon. Donald Trump can't touch the hem of Solomon's garment. Amen. Solomon said, my whole purpose in life was to fear God and to keep his commandments. That is when a man is truly happy in life. 
if you're here tonight and you have been looking in other areas for happiness, now that you know where it's really found, won't you come and restore yourself? Won't you come get it together? Won't you come get what the Lord is offering you? He wants you to have it. Many of us just won't come get it. It's yours for the asking. All you got to do is put yourself in a position to receive what the Lord already has for you. He's already paid for it. So if you're here tonight and you're already God's child, you realize that you've fallen short, repent of your sins. Amen. Confess the fact that you have sinned. According to 1 John 1, 9, our God be faithful and just to forgive. Amen. If you're not a child of God tonight, you need to render obedience Amen. to the gospel. You need to hear the fact that Jesus died, was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. 1 Corinthians 15, verses 1 through 4. You must believe that with all of your heart. John 8, 24. You must repent of your sins. Luke 13, 3. You must confess with your mouth. Romans 10, 9 and 10. That Jesus is the Son of God. Amen. And then be baptized in water for the remission of your sins. Acts chapter 2 and verse number 38. If you do that, God himself will add you to the church. Acts 2, 47. And all you got to do is live faithfully unto them. Yeah. And in the end, you'll hear God say, well yeah, done. Well done. Yeah. If you're standing in need of the Savior's invitation, please come and come right now as together we stand in the Savior.